and welcome to Curry TV. How are you all doing? It's a very nice hot summer day here. I don't know where the temperature is where you are, but it's super hot here. So I am bringing something to cool off our body. It's actually a very, very easy recipe. It's actually zucchini buttermilk. Let me take you over how it's done and all the ingredients we'll be using for this recipe. Okay, we need mustard, fenugreek, whole mustard, whole fenugreek, two dried red chilies. That's, these are for garnishing our tempering our dish. So fresh curry leaves and a little bit of, if you have diced onion, shallots, pearl onions, whichever ones that you have on hand, go for it. Just one or two tablespoon. We need fresh grated coconut, ginger, garlic, green chilies, cumin. This is a small cumin, jeera, also known as. Um, we, need, so we need to season all this with some salt, turmeric powder, red chili powder. Now, turmeric powder and red chili powder are to give that nice, rich yellow look to our curry. It doesn't add much of flavor, like in spiciness, to our dish, but it gives brings out that nice, rich, golden yellow color in our dish. And also, we need coconut milk. Now, if you haven't seen how to make your own coconut milk at home, Bebe, go check it out. I have that video up there, all right? So this is the first extract, and I also have third extract ready to cook our your, uh, zucchini in. So, my friends, this is one zucchini that I have into chunks, okay? And I have whole milk, plain yogurt. Simple, very, very simple. Now we're gonna dilute this. We're gonna mix it all up, and make sure there's no lumps in there. And of course, how can you make curry without curry leaf and coconut milk. The coconut milk, because I'm using the traditional Kerala style recipe, so we need to use coconut oil. All right, without further ado, let's take a look at how things are done. So we're gonna separate this into three different parts. First, we need to crush together a few ingredients, and then we need to let them boil, and then I'm gonna let you how to jazz it up your curry, okay? Okay, into our mortar mix goes our four garlic cloves, a small piece of ginger and our cumin. We're gonna crush them together, make it into somewhat chunky paste. That's what it's gonna look like. And now I'm gonna show you how that looks like. So our crushed ingredients are all good. So that was one teaspoon of cumin, four garlic cloves, and a small piece of ginger. Now what we're gonna do is, before we turn on our stove, we're gonna put all this in our third press of coconut milk that's already in the pan. I'm just gonna put our crushed ingredients along with that. So into this, we're gonna add all of our zucchini, one zucchini, right, along with some green chilies. Now I'm gonna pour some water so that it is covered in that third extract of coconut milk. Beautiful. Now we're gonna mix it up a bit. Okay, wonderful. See how simple this is? It's all coming in together so fast. Now we're gonna turn on our stove and then we're gonna add in our one teaspoon of turmeric powder, rich color, don't forget, and half a teaspoon of red chili powder. Okay, let's mix it all up and turn on our stove and let that simp or let that cook, okay? In the meantime, don't run away. While this is cooking, cover it up, let that sit. Let's actually make sure that our yogurt doesn't have any lumps in there because when we add it to our dish, it will separate. So for that, I got my handy dandy tool here and we are gonna just mix it all up. In my previous video when I showed this, people were asking, where did I get this from? Well. We got this from India a um, couple years ago. So this is actually have different sizes. You can use, um, this is actually a coconut tree thing. Very eco-friendly, very easy to handle. I had one, I bought these for my girls. So they, they have their own collection. Okay, so I got my yogurt ready. My zucchini is cooking. Now next thing what I'm gonna do is take half cup of your grated coconut and let's crush them together so that it's not so hard on our dish, okay? You will get some bite-sized pieces, but not so prominent in our dish, okay? So let's crush it together, and I'll show you how that looks like. Okay, 
So the reason why I used a mortar mix for the coconut is so typically we do it on our stone grinder. So those of you who don't have it, I still have to show them how to do it. So you can rely on whichever one that you have on hand. Say if you don't have a mortar mix or a stone grinder, then use a blender or a food processor, no problem. As long as you get this job done, I'm okay. Okay, now, see, now it's all well cooked. Let's add in our coconut to our dish. So all of this goes in. So our dish is calling our name. It's ready to have our coconut milk enter. So that now that we're going to lower our heat, okay? Very, very low, otherwise it's going to split. So the boil stage is over. Now we're going to pour our first extract, just half a cup or so. Okay. And then we're going to add in our yogurt. So this is three cups of yogurt that I have just mixed it up with my handy dandy tool. And we are going to add it to our dish and start stir, uh, stirring it in. Make sure it is on very, very low heat because it will start splitting up, okay? And then we're going to add in our salt. See how thick our dish has become? Very, very thick. We don't want to lose any of that flavors or the yogurt. So we're going to grab everything out of the pan. Just get it all out in there. Okay, mix it all up. Make sure there's no lumps. At this time, we're going to add in our curry leaves and salt. I want to garnish my dish as well, so that's why I didn't add it in the beginning. But look at this. Looks gorgeous, nice vibrant color. Okay, let's add in our salt. Now salt is according to your like or dislike, whatever. So I'm adding about one teaspoon one one and a half teaspoon it all varies so if your yogurt is nice and sour then you don't need to add more but it all depends on the quality of your yogurt if this is a homemade yogurt then it all depends if you have if you don't have a nice sour yogurt then you can let it sit out for maybe a couple hours and that also increases the sourness in the yogurt that's a tip okay Beautiful. I'm going to go in with my curry leaves. Okay, let's crush them or rip them apart, whichever one that suits your curry. Mix it all up. Check your season. If it's good, we are good in business. If not, add more. No problem. Zucchini doesn't take a long time to cook, so this should be done in a matter of minutes. So don't go anywhere. Don't call your girlfriend, don't call your boyfriend, don't call anybody because this baby does require attention. That's how it's done. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to turn off my stove and I'm going to transfer this to a different pan and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, let's turn on our stove. I'm back again. I have a clean dish. So I've transferred our curry into a clay pot. Now what we're going to do is pour some coconut oil and then temper our dish. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of mustard, half a teaspoon of fenugreek. Don't add more because it's going to become bitter once you bite into it. To garnish it, I'm going to add a few dried chilies, red chilies, and uh, we need curry leaves. And like I said, two tablespoons of onion, whichever one that you like, red, white, yellow, it doesn't matter, pearl, shallots, no problem. Choose whichever one that you have on hand. And then mix it all up, jazz it up. We're going to garnish it and we're going to end it all. This is a great dish to have with your beans curry. If you haven't seen that, please go check it out, bean stir fry. Um, if you have tried that authentic Kerala style um, mussels, oh my gosh, this will be perfect, okay? Um, there's so many varieties you can just set this up with plain rice, no problem. I, would, I prefer plain rice, mango chutney, beans stir fry, cabbage stir fry, any of those and we are in business. Okay, our pan is nice and hot. Okay, let's add in one tablespoon of coconut oil. Okay, and goes with our mustard, one teaspoon. Oil is hot, mustard is dancing in oil. 
Now, once that splatters around, we're going to go in all with our fenugreek. Have your shield ready because you need this to present yourself with. Mustard is dancing in oil. Now, let's add in our fenugreek, whole fenugreek, just half a teaspoon or a quarter teaspoon, whichever one you want. Now, what are we going to do with this? So there's a reason why we add dried chilies. Say in case when you are having your meal, you feel this is not spicy enough, add one of these, crush it into your rice, and then it'll be spicy for you. But if you don't want it spicy, just add it as it is and take it apart when you are having your meal. Okay? Beautiful. The fenugreek has changed its color. Perfect time to add in our fresh curry leaves and our onion. Let's mix it all up. When you're sauteing this and you feel that it's taking a long time, a tip, you can add just a pinch of salt to your dish and actually speeds up the process, okay? We're gonna turn off our stove and pour it on top of our curry. Perfect. Let's add it. Let's pour it. Okay. Okay, few tips. When you're garnishing or when you're tempering your curry, make sure that you do not add a lot of salt to speed up the process because it will not dissolve. That's tip number one. Tip number two to help prevent from our yogurt from splitting. You, low one is to lower your temper, um, stove or second add a cube of um, ice in there. That will actually change the temperature and it will help with not letting our yogurt split up or our coconut milk split up. Split up. So this is the one dish that we love on a summer day. It's hot summer days now. You need something to refresh yourself, cool your body down. So this is a natural method. I hope you enjoyed this video with me. Try this out at home and I'll see you next time on Curry TV. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.